Welcome to Act 101 with Monsieur Albergare. <laughs> Art, 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 Art 101 with Mr. Burger. Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Art 101 with me, Mr. Berger, a professional artist and master educator attempting to bring you the best in art historical content. I'm your new nightmare. <laughs> I very much appreciate the likes, shares, subscribes, comments. Please keep them coming. And remember, no matter what, I will always love you. In the world of modern art, Oscar Kokoschka is one of those artists that I really, really appreciate, but he's kind of an odd duck. And uh, he went so far as to making a model doll of one of his girlfriends. Let me tell you a little bit about the story of Oscar Kokoschka and his doll. About four years after their breakup, he would have a doll made. And the doll actually appears in some of his paintings. The woman asked to create the doll was Hamina Moose. She was given detailed instruction on how everything in the doll was supposed to be. The tongue, the teeth, the hair, all of the mathematical components of the doll's creation were laid out by Kakashka. He wanted it to be exact, and exact in a weird sort of way. After numerous interventions and alterations, Kakashka was finally pleased with the design of the product. You're just reeking of feminine beauty, and... When Kakashka receives the doll, he opens up the box and he is horrified by this yeti-looking doll, covered in fur. Despite some displeasure with the covering, Kakashka was still committed to using the doll because, quite frankly, he had to stay committed to this crazy investment. Now, it is said that Kakashka even took the doll out on dates. They would go to the opera and out to eat afterwards, him lugging this doll around with him. It had to have been something to see. After several years of dragging this doll around, the novelty of it certainly wore off, and Oscar felt that it was time to get rid of this companion. So in true Kakashka fashion, he got rid of the doll in a big way. He hosted this big champagne party with chamber music and food and drinks, and everybody was having a great time. As the evening progressed, his maid brought out the doll completely decked out in this really nice dress. Now this is at the end of the party and everybody is completely smashed. And they drag the doll out into the middle of the yard and they place her down in a lawn chair. He would proceed to chop the doll's head off and then smash a bottle of red wine over its head. The beheading of the doll was the climax of the party and everybody went on their way and Kakashka went to bed. The following morning, he was in for quite a surprise. The local police arrived to search for a bloody, headless, naked corpse of a woman that seemed to be exhibited in the garden. The situation was explained, and it became a story of lore. Stay away from women. That's my motto. But I can't. Neither can I. That's my trouble. <laughs> Now that's a story. <laughs> oh man. He's good. <laughs> <laughs>